Video 9. Psh, psh. Being part 4 of the homosexuality miniseries. Yes, it is dragging on still. Last time, first time we talked about, about, um, the lack of training and the two different sides. Second time we talked about the Baptist pastor. Third time we talked about, um, um, the equality of sin and how all sin separates from God. Um, thank you guys so much for, for watching these. Um, I'll just start right back in where I started last time. Um, the last thing I said was about Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Um, oftentimes, if you've um, not blocked yourself off in a cave or talked to any homosexuals or anything like that, um, you often hear them say this, I was born this way. And all I have to say to that is that is absolutely true. One hundred percent true homosexuals are born that way they are um i was born i was born as a wife beater i was born as an adulterer i was born as a child molester i was born as a liar that's something that i t i'm still tempted with every day too you know sometimes my wife will say something and it'll irritate me and, and i'll feel like i've been throwing something or punching someone, but I can't. See what I'm saying? I was born this way. Uh, I was born with a short temper. I was born with lusting after women. That's not that's not something I'm proud of. It's just something, it's who I am. It's, not who I, it's how I was born, you know? Um, don't, don't go around pointing your little pious finger at them, like, oh, I'm better than you. Like, Oh, I I may lust out. I may I may um, look at porn when my wife's gone. I may lust after my wife's sister. I may gossip behind other people's back. I may lie. I may do all these things. But at least I'm not them. That's a homosexual, right there. And I'm not as bad as them. They are way worse than me. Way worse. Homosexual. Homosexual. You know. If we just hear ourselves sometimes, what we're, what we're thinking, it's not as good as we think it is. Um, there's two kinds of people in this world. There's saved and there's lost. You're saved if you know if you've accepted God, the, God's grace, and your life has been transformed, and so you live differently. And you lost if you don't. It's that simple. There, there, there's, there, there's two kinds of people. You're either saved, you're a Christian, or you're lost, you're of the world. Um, uh, and that salvation is not of your own. That's not of yourself. If you're saved, if you're a Christian, that salvation is not of your own. That salvation is a gift of the Lord. Um, I want to put in a slight uh, note here. Um, the Bible is very specific on this. Do not judge the world. It says that. Do not judge the world. Um, it said, Paul writes, you know, I, I told you not to hang out with, with the drunkards and with all these people who are doing these different things. But when I told you that, I didn't mean for you to do that with the people in the world. Because if you were doing that, you wouldn't be hanging out with anybody. You wouldn't be able to witness at all. You'd be cut off. But when I said that, I meant don't hang out with the people in the church who do those things. You know, so it does say to ju and it does say elsewhere also, to judge the actions of your brother. But we're not supposed to be judging people's heart, their motives, and we're not supposed to be judging the world. We're just supposed to be judging the actions of our Christian brothers and sisters. That's it. Um, I think that that's important to include here. Um, next, homosexuality is a lust of the flesh. That's all it is. It's not some great mystery. It's not far separated from all other sins. It's not like it is. It is a hundred times worse than anything else you could do. It's a sin that separates you from God, and it's and it's a lust of the flesh. That's what it is. Of course, you were born that way because it, we were born in sin. We have that those those lustful desires in us. 
some, not everybody str struggles with homosexuality, but it's still very much real. Okay, not everybody struggles with, um, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, with the desire to be, um, to be a dictator, you know, but that doesn't mean that it's not a real lust. Um, y you know, p what we don't realize with sin is that we will be tempted. We will be tempted. That's a natural part of human of being human, of living. Um, and then also something that we don't often realize is that we will fail. You know, we will fail often. Um, which is why we need Christ. We need to rely on His grace. We cannot do it on our own. Our righteousness is nothing but filthy rags. Um, we cannot do whatever we feel, though. Okay, consider, consider uh, a, someone who wants, genuinely wants to rape somebody. Genuinely wants to rape. Does that make it all right? Should we legalize that? Well, no. No, no, no. It's still wrong, you know. Um, we have to, we can't do whatever we feel. Um, Romans 8.13 says that we are in a constant fight. We are running a race. We're not taking a stroll. We've got a purpose. We're pushing on forward. So with that in mind, we shouldn't be, you know, bogged down and, oh, well, it's whatever. You know, it really doesn't matter. Just keep fighting. Keep going. This life wasn't created for us to sit in relaxation and have a good time. We are soldiers in a war. We are runners in a race. We're supposed to be running to get the prize. Um, uh, Romans 7, 14 through 25 makes it abundantly clear. We have two natures, flesh and spirit. And those two natures are constantly at war. Paul even goes as far as to say, the things that I want to do, I end up not doing. And the things that I don't want to do, I end up doing. Okay, and, and in Romans 7, 14, he says about how, how we've got that lust of the flesh. And, 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 the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the spirit's trying to win, and the, and the flesh is trying to win. But we were born with that fleshly nature, so we were born in our sin. So yes, we were born that way. Um, uh, but Ephesians 6.12, and pay attention to this, Ephesians 6.12 says that we're not warring against, um, of, against flesh. We're warring against, you know, the principalities, and, and read that for yourself. But we're not, that homosexuals are not our enemies. There are people just like us, struggling with real-life situations just like us, being tempted just like us, and they need God's grace just like us. Alright? God bless. That's all for this video. There'll be one, probably one more video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, uh, please continue watching. God bless. Uh, see you next time.